Hello welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video I explain why so many country involved in China's Boxers Rebellion. The Boxers, a peasant movement, had attacked and killed foreign missionaries, nationals, and Chinese Christians across northern China in 1899 and 1900. The Qing government and the imperial army supported the Boxers and, under the Manchu general Ronglu, besieged foreign diplomats and civilians taking refuge in the legation quarter in Beijing. The diplomatic compound was under siege by the Huawei rear division of the Chinese army and some boxes, Yehechuan, for 55 days, from the 20th of June to the 14th of August 1900. A total of 473 foreign civilians. 409 soldiers from eight countries, and about 3,000 Chinese Christians took refuge in the legation quarter. 4. Under the command of the British Minister to China, Claude Maxwell MacDonald. The legation staff and security personnel defended the compound with small arms and one old muzzle-loaded cannon discovered and unearthed by Chinese Christians, who turned it over to the Allies. It was nicknamed the International Gun because the barrel was British, the carriage Italian, the shells Russian and the crew American. Also under siege in Beijing was the North Cathedral, the Bai Tang of the Catholic Church. The Bai Tang was defended by 43 French and Italian soldiers, 33 foreign Catholic priests and nuns, and about 3,200 Chinese Catholics. The defenders suffered heavy casualties from lack of food and Chinese mines that exploded in tunnels dug beneath the compound. On the 14th of August 1900, the Allies marched to Beijing from Tianjin to relieve the legation quarter siege. As Allied troops moved from Beijing into the North China countryside, they executed unknown numbers of people accused or suspected of being or resembling boxer rebels, which became the subject of an early short film. 9. A U.S. Marine wrote that he witnessed German and Russian troops raping and then bayonetting women. 10. While the Allies were in Beijing, they looted the palaces, yamens, and government buildings inflicting incalculable loss of cultural relics. Books on literature and history, including the famous Yongle Dadian, and damage to cultural heritage, including the Forbidden City, the Summer Palace, Shishan and the Old Summer Palace. More than 3,000 gold-plated bronze Buddhas, 1,400 artistic products and 4,300 bronzes in Songshu Temple were looted. The gold plating on the copper tanks in front of the Forbidden City palaces was scraped off by the Alliance, leaving scratch marks that can be seen even now. Yongle Dadian was compiled by 2,100 scholars during the Ming Yongle period, 1403 to 1408, with a total of 22,870 volumes, was partially destroyed in the Second Opium War in 1860. Later, it was collected in the Imperial Palace on Nankizi Street. It was found and destroyed completely by the Alliance in 1900. Part of Yongle Dadian was used for the construction of fortifications. The Siku Quanshu was compiled by 360 scholars during the Qing Chanlong period. It collected 3,461 ancient books totaling 79,309 volumes. The whole book consisted of seven sets. One set was destroyed in 1860 during the Arrow War. Another 10,000 plus volumes were destroyed in 1900 by the Eight Nation Alliance. The Hanlin Academy houses a collection of precious books, orphans, books of the Song Dynasty, literature and history materials, and precious paintings. The Eight Nation Alliance looted the collections. Some of these looted books remain in the custody of museums in London and Paris.